doing? I'm scared to death. What do we do? Okay. First thing, we have to move. I'm gonna need you to, to come over here. I always sit on this side. I've been thinking a lot about my brother. No, no, Adrian, this is not a session. I'm really frightened. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Okay, do you see those figurines? Check the label. They're from Turkey. See that one in the corner? It's cracked. It's obviously ruined. Why didn't he throw it out? Drugs? But what does that have to do with Teresa? I think Teresa broke that figurine. I remember after we found the body, I asked Lieutenant Disher if he checked the vacuum cleaner. He said the bag was yeah, completely exactly. empty. But think about it. The bag couldn't have been empty if she had been vacuuming rugs all night. I'm, I'm not following you. On Thursday night, Teresa was cleaning Merrigan's office. She must have knocked over that figurine. It broke open. It was filled with powder. Heroin? She had no idea. She just vacuumed it up and moved on to the next office, your office. Meanwhile, Merrigan comes back. He sees the broken figurine. He figured out what happened. He knew somewhere in that building was a vacuum cleaner bag filled with heroin. He went looking for Teresa and caught up with her in your office. Merrigan must have checked the bag to make sure the heroin was still there. Once he found it, he couldn't just let her go. She had seen too much. Then he rifled through your files, threw a rock at your house, so everybody would think it was one of your patients. Yeah, ev everyone did. Everybody except you. Adrian! I hope someday I'm as good at my job as you are at yours. So you're not quitting? Right now, I don't know if it really matters. We're in big trouble here, aren't we? Yeah. I'm never going to see my family again. My son. I'm sorry. Do you think anyone will ever find us? I don't see how. Nobody in the world has any idea where we are. Dr. K, I'm coming. I got your back. No sign of a struggle. Okay, well, well that's a good sign, right? Okay, somebody say right. That's right. Right, that's good. Fisher. Yeah, no, do it now. Captain, they're patching somebody through. He says he knows where Monk is. This is Stottlemyre. Wait, hang on, sir. Just slow down. Harold? All right, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, uh, could you, could you put me over there? Pardon me? Please, I can't, I can't be on this side. Please, I'm begging you, just look into your hearts. He has a problem with situational disorder, okay? Believe me, he's got a lot bigger problems than that. <laughs> so what do you want to do with him? I figure we'll let Frankie decide. He's not gonna like that, especially after what happened with that cleaning lady. Uh, hey, what choice did I have, huh? What is all this? Dust bunnies? Yeah, it's from a vacuum cleaner. Just, just clean it out. Here. Check it out. It's everywhere. Just make it look good there. Careful, don't lose any. This is pure stuff, you know. Look, I know what I'm doing, all right? 
Sip through it. Just make sure there's no more of that stuff. Careful. Yeah, this would be easier if we had tweezers. I left them in a the car. You should have that stuff in your arsenal. You know, this is your mess. Some on the table. Some mess for a cleaning lady, huh? Here we go. Careful, okay, watch I it. Think, I think we can bag it now. No shot. Me neither. Relax, Harold. Just take it easy. You'll be okay. We're gonna get a doctor. We will get a doctor. How's he doing? He's gonna be okay. Did you see what he did? He took a bullet from me, Adrian. Monk. Monk, come here. Closer. Beat there. Everywhere, no one seems to care. 